Misha, don't run on the road. I am sorry, Mom. Misha, you have to be careful on road as well as anywhere else, as main cause for accidents is carelessness. Accidents happen all of a sudden. These happen if we become careless or if we are in a hurry. Accidents can be avoided if we follow the safety rules. Accidents at home are mostly caused due to fire falls, electrical shocks or poisoning. So to avoid these accidents, you can adopt some safety measures which are Do not hurry while climbing up or down the stairs. Keep the floors clean and dry. Put your toys and bags at their proper places. Do not go near a burning stove. Turn it off when it is not in use. Do not wear synthetic clothes in the kitchen because these clothes catch fire very easily. Handle all the electrical equipment, appliances, examples, toasters, irons, heaters, coolers, table lamps, etc. with great care. Do not touch any wire or switch with wet hands and make sure that all the electrical appliances are in order and there is no cut in any wire. In case a person gets shock or you see a spark, turn off the main switch to stop the electricity. Do not take any medicine without a doctor's advice. Self-medication may lead to many problems. Do not burn crackers within the house and without your parents' help. Road accidents are very common, especially on the busy roads of towns. Every day many people are killed or injured seriously because they do not follow the safety rules on the road. We must follow the road safety rules which are always walk on the footpath. If there is no footpath, walk on the left side of the road. Never walk very close to any animal like cow, donkey, horse or a monkey. They may kick or harm you. Always cross the road at a zebra crossing or cross wherever there is safe crossing. Never cross the road behind a parked vehicle. Look carefully on the sides. If there is no vehicle coming, then you can cross safely. Do not try to get down from a moving bus. Accidents can happen at school, in the classroom or in the playground. You must take precautions such as Do not try to jump over the desks or tables. Use sharpeners, nut blade or knife to sharpen your pencils. Do not push the crowd around while entering or leaving the classroom. You and any other student may fall and get hurt. If you are swinging, swing gently and get down only after it stops completely. Do not play rough games like boxing. You may get hurt. Never shout in someone's ear. Swimming is a very good exercise, but it can be dangerous if you are not alert. Never go alone for swimming. Go with your elders who know swimming well. You should not swim immediately after having your meals. Always swim in a clean pool. Never go for swimming in a deep pool. It is risky. Do not push anyone into the water for fun. Accidents can happen anywhere and anytime. So we must know what help should we give when someone gets hurt or injured. The immediate help that is given to an injured or ill person before a doctor comes or before the person is taken to a hospital is called first aid. First aid is important during emergency. To save life, to prevent the condition from worsening. To speed up the recovery. You must have a first aid box at home, at school, in your car and also in school bus. The first aid box must contain the following items. A roll of cotton, a roll of cotton bandage, Dettol or any antiseptic lotion, any antiseptic cream to be applied on the injured area, a pair of scissors. Never panic if there is an accident. Immediately call an adult person for help. Do not allow the people to gather around an injured person. See that he or she gets enough air to breathe. Make him or her sit or lie down. Do not let the injured person move. If someone had fractured a bone, this can cause more harm. 
If the victim is bleeding, press the bleeding part with a clean cloth or cotton to stop the bleeding. After washing with clean water, tie a bandage around the wound. See that the bleeding part is brought higher than other body parts. Apply ice pack if available and then take him to a doctor in an ambulance or any other vehicles. Keep dust and flies away from the wound as they cause more harm to the wound. If a person gets fainted, rest his or her head lower than his or her body. This helps to increase the supply of blood to the brain. Minor burns can be soothed with clean cold water or ice. Antiseptic cream can also be used. A doctor should only treat severe burns. So, rush to the doctor for medical help. To soothe insect bites, apply antiseptic cream. Wash the wound with cold water and place an ice pack and rush to a doctor. Accidental consumption of chemicals or medicines can lead to poisoning. Never take any medicine without a doctor's advice. Always label all the medicines and keep them away from children. Let us summarize. Accidents are caused by personal carelessness. Accidents can be prevented by following simple safety rules at home, at school, in playground or while swimming. Provide first aid immediately to the person who is injured as first aid can save his or her life. We should follow the safety rules to avoid accidents.